All right, welcome back to my next episode of Rogue Tech. So we found out where those pirates were last time. Last time, last uh, episode, we got hit by some pirates and height was out of action for 24 days. Down to 20 now, but we know where these guys are. So we're going to go to navigation real quick, and I'm going to show you. We're going to use our uh, KF drive this time, or we're going to jump in on these guys. So they're at uh, Adderall Wind here. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump over there and, and smash them. Now, this is America controlled or, uh, yeah, Free Worlds League controlled world. So while we're there, we're going to take on the Free Worlds for the Free Worlds League as well. But we're going to go and smash these pirates. From what I understand, they're not that tough. So uh, hopefully we can catch them on the ground and uh, take them out before they know what happened. Coming in on the pirate point, they won't expect where we're, where we're uh, coming from. So let's, uh, let's just do that. Let's go back to star map here. Let's get this done. Roger that, Commander. Course so we need to exit orbit here first. Heading up to the pirate point. Expected approach time. One eight. Like we've arrived, Commander. Cool. So that's one of the advantages of knowing pirate points. So we can get here fast. They, they won't even know that we're coming. All right. So we're going to drop real fast and surprise these guys. We're going to drop right on top of their base. Look at the store later. We're going to go down and kill these guys. So I'll meet you down on the surface. All right. Welcome to the surface. We've almost caught these guys with their pants down, but not quite. What we did learn, though, while we were here picking up radio chatter is that these guys are actually being supplied by the Free Worlds League. And the Free Worlds League right now is a very tenuous hold on this planet. They don't have a lot of troops on the planet. So if we were able to, to uh, crush these pirates, we might have a good chance of being able to flip this world back to Magistry of Canopus. So they're actually invested in us taking care of this problem for them. So we're gonna attempt to do that. So right now, since we've encountered these guys right off, we're gonna move in and try and apply as much damage as possible before they can actually do anything. Uh, we're going to need to watch out for turrets as well. Doesn't look like there might be any turrets here, which is good. We're just down to mechs here. So this is uh, Askwigs, Samanov. <laughs> so he's got an AC-20 triple plus and two, two bonus PPCs. And this is a Zeus, who is a secondary target. So the Atlas is the guy we got to take down first. And we're just going to open fire on this guy. We want to put him right on the ground. So I'm a bit PO'd. And for reasons that, uh, one of the major reasons why I'm PO'd is that Height was actually, uh, in real life, the guy that got me involved in playing Battletech. So I um, just want to take a little bit of re revenge here for him. So we, we brought Payroll down because she's the next best mech warrior. So we're going to light this guy up, hopefully get the tag on him so it makes it a lot easier for everybody else to hit. Firing. Of course not. But that's all right. We've got lots of punishment coming up here. So let's get Flatliner down here. Maximum sprint. Get as much evasion as we can. Now we got another mech over here, another 100 tonner. Let's make sure we kill this guy. So let's make him unstable here. Was that two CT hits? It looked like it might have been. Cut this guy flat-footed in the open. Knock down. He's about to take a little dirt nap, I think. So what's he got left in the center? 120, so all we need is two hits with the ACs and he's done. Double time. Let's go. But in order to make sure that he is actually done, we're going to use them all. No mercy on these guys. We're not going to have much time for salvage here today. We want to land and loot this base and get out of here. So our main, uh, our dropship's going to come down here. So my guess is once we capture this base, it's probably going to be a secondary lance. Hunter Tunner, I don't know what this guy is. Probably another... Okay, you want a sensor lock? That's fine. Zeus shifting positions to try and defend the base. It's not going to help. Oh, 
lots of evasion now. So let's reserve. Let's start off with uh, what do you need? start off with payroll here. Let's get you down. Do we want to be able to see this other guy? Do we want to know what he is? I think we probably do. So let's get down in the woods here. Oh, we know it's not clear, Darius. We'll be eliminating them all. Don't worry about it, buddy. A Dreka. Two heavy Gauss rifles. This guy has to die now. Where are they? Torsos. Of course they are. Where else would they be? He's got lots of ammo, too. Engine. So he's got an XL. And a Gyro XL, Engine XL. Okay. This guy doesn't have an XL engine, does he? He's just a normal one. Yeah. So I think we gotta switch targets. Let's fire on this guy. Copy that. You, you you couldn't hit with the tag, huh? Ready for orders. All right, we gotta make sure we got some good evasion. Those heavy PPCs are gonna be nasty. Let's get down here. See how much instability I can throw on this guy this turn. The reason why I'm firing with um, ground zero first is he's got the best chance to hit. So I want to try and get him unstable go. Get him unstable so he doesn't have the uh, same ability to dodge our attacks. Going full throttle. So we're going to come down here with the Warhammer and put his ass on the ground, I think. Should be able to do that. Probably blow his arm in the process. Almost. So he's going down. Don't really care about pirate or pilot health. We gotta kill this guy. So I know I'm coming down in the open, but I want to get closer with these ACs on him. So what do we got here? We can go for the torso. He's got the XL engine. There we go. So two down. Don't have to worry about those heavy Gauss rifles now. Maybe we can get oh we won't get one in salvage. We're not gonna be getting any salvage out of this. We're gonna be in and out. Another Zeus. Six T. What's the six Y have? This hits with the missiles, though. Should have moved more than that. So the six Y's got an AC five laser binary plus and an LRM ten, and this guy's got a PPC. Large, two mediums, and LRM-15. So he's the guy I think we want. By. Let's back up here. All in at. We're gonna target this guy. And we're gonna fire everything on him. Roger that. Once again, looking to make him unstable. Okay, definitely giving us a, a huge advantage again. Some heavy so this time, Waiting we're gonna go with Flatliner next. And we are going to sprint once again to try and get maximum evasion. Roger that. And we're using the PPCs, we're going to put this guy's ass on the ground. Torso gone. This just in. Critical hit. Okay, so... Vein skater. Actually, let's do height first. Or payroll, sorry. Come on, payroll. Let's finish this guy up. CTM. Firing everything. Done. So this other Zeus now gets the Ultra AC-10s of Fury. Ah, he's kind of hidden over there, isn't he? Let's get a little closer. Not bad. Not bad chance to hit. Don't know if we'll have a second lance, but we're definitely going to fire straight on this guy. Ultra AC 10s of Fury. Alright, let's see what he does. Wow, that was uh, really bad. Damage, Commander. Okay. Receiving you. Going full Moving down to capture this base. Firing everything. 
We're not messing around now. Let's finish this guy up and get out of here. We're just here for a little bit of payback. They want to hit us. Rolling. We're going to hit them twice as hard. Torso gone, knocked down. Take that. All right, payroll, you're up. I'll let you finish this guy off. She's here for experience to see how the big boys do it. Roger. Help her with her uh, leadership and her lance. Aye, aye. In Done. Gotcha. All right, let's capture this base and GTFO. I think we need to go in the water over here. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. All right, they're coming. Thought they might have reinforcements. Acknowledge. Let's get over here. They're going to show up here in a second. Okay, 60 tenner. Could be a heavy lance. Either way, we're going to take them out, so it doesn't matter. This one could have been problematic if they had uh, turrets here at the same time. Now you need to go... You can't actually get in there? How can you not get in there? I don't understand how you can't... Okay. We go around then. Yeah, so if they had turrets and that assault lance at the very start, it would have been problematic because everything would have been firing at us at once. All right, we got second mech, 80 tonner. You've been sensor locked, a 95 ton vehicle. That's a vehicle over there. I think that was an 80 tonner. So I'm not really that worried about this uh, group now that I notice their vehicles. There's two, 60 ton, 95, and 80. So let's see if I can see anybody here. Nope, I won't be able to see anybody for a while. So let's move into the trees here. Actually, you know what? Forget that. We're going to reserve right back. I want to go the same time as they're going. Let's get this 60 tonner a little closer. Reserving back to turn what one. I think they might have another... Yeah, they got another one over here. So our crew's just going to come down and loot this base and we're going to get the heck out of here. All right, payroll. You're doing Heights' job today, so I need you to scout these guys out. Let's see what we got here. Ontos Mark II. That's a lot of medium lasers. It's a lot of medium lasers. And what else we got here? A dragon. Which I'm not that worried about. So let's fire on the Ontos. And I don't think we'll be able to kill it with this, but we might be able to. No, tagged it though. It's go time, all right. Comes the 80 tonner. What's up, boss? All right, let's get you up here in the trees. No shooting, just running. Need to put that mech in the trees. Okay, what do we got here? 70s and 97s. What do we got for armor left in this guy? 75, 68. Need a couple hit on each ones, but let's fire on the dragon with the heavies. For an there we go. Welcome that guy to the fight. Is he unsteady? Yep. Okay, cool. Here comes the medium lasers. We're at a rave, guys! Alright, Flatliner. Gonna multi target on these guys. I'm going to use, let's go A and B. I think the PPCs are going to go to B and everything else to A. Primitive. So there's the torso destroyed. And the vehicle gone. I have become death. You have become Perfect. death. All right, so I won't be able to get, be able to see this guy, but I can launch missiles indirectly. 
Which we're going to do, I'm going to do an offensive push on this guy's head. Because we can. If we get a headshot on him and knock him down. There's the knockdown. Do we get a headshot? No. Nope. Alright, 3 of 5. We go before him anyway, so... Um, let's move up here. And this guy is what? Devastator Mark Three. And let's make sure this guy's gone. Goodbye. One more for the trash. Okay, and let's get Vein Skater moving. See what's going on with this vehicle over here. Looks like another Ontos, maybe. Ontos Mark II. Yeah, it is. Alright, let's use everything on this guy. I wonder if we should do an offensive... Nah, I was going to say... Well, we've got good chances to hit. If we do an offensive push... Sixty-nine percent chance to hit the front. Let's do it. See what we got here. Ah. Not bad. I mean, we could have done worse. Got a couple of hits on the front, one on the one on each side. Okay. I'm receiving you. Flatliner. I can see both of them from here. Confirmed. So we're going to multi-target. Here and here and the LRM is going to be Wow, that guy's holding on really well. Okay, dragon's gone. Farewell, and we should yep. be able to use um, payroll to finish this guy up. Firing everything. Confirmed. There we go. Dropship on its way down. All we gotta do is step into the base and we're done. Let's start loading stuff up, guys. Commander. Got it. Get the entire crew loading stuff up here. Reserving action. That's it, baby. Mission. Alright, so with the theft of all their stuff, we were able to get over a million sea bills worth of stuff from them. That's awesome. And no internal structure damage across the board. We did take a lot of armor hits, though. Uh, just a little bit here or there. But overall, really well. And we got an LRM-10 and a Drek apart, which isn't much. But still, you know, we were there for the cash and the retribution anyway. Alright, so after that battle, I was correct. That, that pirate organization was being supplied by House Merrick. Looks like Magistry of Canopus had no problem taking back that world from the Free Worlds League after that, which is awesome. So 36,000 in uh, repairs, which is nothing compared to the last time. Uh, so we still made over a million sea bills. So that was that was a really good, uh, really good mission. Let's have a look at the star map real quick. So we're slowly fighting their Free Worlds League and pushing them back. We've taken three systems away from them now. And we're going to keep going and try and pull some more away from them. Uh, Magistry of Canopus is kind of getting back to where it was originally, which is good. I mean, they were up along here, but uh, we'll have to work on these uh, independent uh, planetary governments a little later. But right now, we're going to take on the Free Worlds League and smash these other worlds. So that's pretty good. And now we've got the time. Let's go to the store and see if there's anything interesting here. So Centurion part... Not a big deal. Anything else interesting down here? Looking for some ATMs. I'd like to have a couple of ATMs for our... Uh, ooh, Armor Up and Plus. Plus two Armor Mounted Accuracy. Let's take that. It's always good to see things like that. Oh, they got a couple of them. So let's take both of them. And exchangers, we can hold off for now. And heat banks. Assault jump jets. TTSs, we got our plus three uh, energy one we picked up, which we can now swap out into another one of our other mechs. And that's about it, I think. Nothing else down here that we want. So, yeah, 
overall done we were uh, really really successful now we're sitting pretty here so at least we've uh, let the uh, enemy know uh, at least pirates know in this sector of space not to mess around with us we've completely destroyed one pirate out outfit which uh, was actually fairly strong the pirates on this planet know better than to attack us now so we're hoping that continues along financial report in three days we're sitting pretty with money so we're okay um, we're getting everybody back within six days so let's just quickly do that get all our gear back so the next time when we come back we're gonna have two lances of mechs so Circinus versus Merrick they're fighting Circinus Federation surrendered Capellan took four during the war uh, Lothian League and Hegemony war just ended Oberon versus Steiner outwards in Karita diplomacy happening not a, oh, they've signed a non-aggression pact with Free Worlds League. That doesn't stop us since we're basically pirates and mercenaries from doing their work for them. So we can still do that. I've got the financial report. Okay, cool. So four hundred seventy-four, four sorry, seven hundred and forty-five thousand. So we still got some good funds left, and we'll just finish up getting everybody back here and ready to go. Excellent. So, there we go. Let's go to the mech bay real quick. Let's have a look at what we got here. Now we can start getting serious. So we got both of our lances back. So now we're going to start running missions hardcore. I might, uh, between episodes, find the best place to drop that uh, plus three um, energy weapon accuracy. It might be in this mech here. The Warhammer. Um, I might add it into the, the uh, Cataract as well I'm not really sure we got a plus two in here already um, but maybe we drop it down into the uh, secondary lance maybe into the black knight or something as we got um, some PPCs and we were talking about putting a targeting computer in here or a, a targeting system in here anyway so that's the other option is we drop it in here plus we were talking about swapping around the regular endo steel for the clan endo steel just to give us a bit more space but I might did, might just do that between episodes we're pretty happy with the layout of this, this mech already anyway so it's not like it's a major refit or anything. But um, so we'll end the episode here. If you like it, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe. And um, yeah, so hopefully the next time we, we see each other, we'll be doing a double lance mission and uh, smashing, smashing some heads. But until that time, I'll see you later.